Hello, 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 hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Above Snakes, just released today on Steam as a full release. Some people have been playing the prologue, the demo, early access versions of the game for quite a bit of time now, but it is full released on Steam now. There's a link down below. If you're just joining us, click the sub button, notification icon, make sure it's set to always. It's kind of a top-down survival builder exploration game, as you would anticipate. Um, but there's a few twists and turns that other games don't have in the survival genre, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. If you want more than one episode, please let me know by obviously supporting the video with a comment afterwards and or a like on the live stream or video once you have a moment. So again, as we always do, we'll play for a couple hours, we'll give our honest opinions on it, and we'll see what we think and see if you know we can pull and draw inspiration from this game to expect other games to also do things like that if that makes sense starting a new journey uh there's definitely a story to this game the environment looks beautiful alucard morning star with the 10 bomb yet again thank you sir i appreciate it the conflict between the settlers and the first people was at its peak it's also takes place in the wild west. echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. And from that love, a child was born. Ayana, that me? who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. On one fateful evening in Corpse Creek, the midnight skies were interrupted by a light of brilliant green. Hmm. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved in the horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. It's giving me like Drake's Most Hollow vibes already. The debris and smoke with the whole animation. Land, the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. Uh oh, zombies! That night, Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement. Far away from her beloved mother. Uh oh. Are we waking up into the thick of this? I'm scared. The next morning. Oh, morning, morning star. <sighs> Weird. W A S and D. That can do, can do. Ooh. Ayana, voice from outside, are you awake? Alright, do we loot or anything? We can inspect. Never really cramped in here. We'll, we'll grab our backpack, of course. Oh, we gotta grab more stuff. Grab our coin, and folks I can read might pay a decent price for it. Oh, we can't read? I can warm my hands by the campfire. Uh-oh. Is that our first zombie? I'm scared. Hello. Q and E to rotate the screen. Ah, okay. I see. Cool. Oh my, oh my. Sniffles and weeps. What are we to do the horror that came over us? Ask if she was okay. Ask if we can help. I'm gonna ask if I can help. Is there any way I can do to help? Wipe away the tears. Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use the help we can get. We need logs to rebuild, even though we have a sawmill over there. I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild these houses. Ask her if she has an axe. I do need an axe. I've been searching for my axe. Can't find it among these ruins. I do have flint, though. And you can tie it to a strong branch. Perhaps you craft yourself a primitive axe. I also have these hard antlers for you, which might be useful. There should be plenty of materials around here to craft some primitive tools. I'm afraid of this little this, this dead guy right here. It looks like these people need my help. I need an axe to help chop some trees, but Jolyn gave me flint. So we could do tab to open our backpack and then craft the primitive backpack. I see, I see. This is all our equipment and consumables that we have. Miscellaneous. Some clothing. So we have protection, thirst, hunger, sanity, fatigue, melee damages. We have proficiencies in all of these different trees. A quest log. Uh, pretty f pretty fleshed out. Pretty fleshed out already. There we go. We just learned Primitive Axe. Go ahead and craft that. 
Bada bing, bada boom, we have an axe. Chop a tree. That I can do. So how do we... Oh, right click. F to sheath the weapon, F to pull it back out. Is that what's happening? So it's left click, pull it out. And then just chop it. Okay, so we're just physically chopping it. I need to turn up the gameplay volume and turn down the music. There we go. Axe is increased to two. Looks like we did a little spin there. So maybe there's some combos or different attacks of some kind. And we don't even have to press the button to pick everything up. We just walk over it. Gather some rocks. So I'm assuming we make ourselves a primitive pickaxe. Look at that thing. Looks pretty cool. Craft that up. We press two. I like the light screen shape. It's kind of nice. Everything feels like it's like it, it's reactive. Like when I hit something, it feels like I'm hitting something. Which a lot of these third-person or top-down games don't really have. All right, time to get started. Wouldn't you say the sawmill was set up to saw lumber plus it's usable in current state, unusable in current state. So we'll have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. But first, oh, how can I forget? Before you can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. Don't mind really mush. My mind is really mush these days. We're just going to interject that there. Just be like, I got a mushy brain. Anyways, if you can craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down an old ruined house to free up some space. Later, you can adjust the house if you need to. So clearly the meteor smoked this town. One hit here, one hit here. We need some plant fiber. So this is a bit of a tutorial island. And the twist that I was mentioning before was you actually like start placing cubes on the island yourself. So I'm wondering when that mechanic's going to come in. And I'm curious how it's going to work. Let's get a few plant fibers, like it asked. Some axe proficiencies yet again. And uh, I am blocking the time of day as well as our current quest. So I'm just going to scooch myself down a tad. There you go. And it wanted us to do what again? Craft a hammer. But we don't have the needs for a hammer. Let's recheck our quest again. Get plant fibers, craft a hammer. Oh, there's the hammer. I'm just blind. Adjusting structures with the hammer. Use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or one you built yourself. You can get back some of those resources. So we can take this down with F. And we hover over it. So we're going to start building our own little town and our own little structures. And obviously, we're going to make sure we clean everything up. Start building, craft a workbench. That can do. That can do. Oop. And I'm going to put the workbench against the house right there. Look how clean and pretty everything looks. I like this. Rebuilding Hunter's Rest. I clean up the mess of the meteorites created. Time to build a new home for Anne. So I wonder if we're going to, like, have people that we can work with. Like, maybe we can get her to, like, go do stuff for us. I have at least four foundations at the workbench. Okay, can do. All right, let's get a bit of building going, but I need more lumber, so. Tree smack, and it is. It wouldn't be a survival game if we didn't smack trees, would it be? Uh-oh, don't fall in the water. No, I need all of you. Okay, we're good. Ooh, there's crits, too. Okay, so maybe our crit rate goes up when our proficiencies go up on the weapons and items. That would be pretty cool. I believe the game is single-player only. Didn't give me an option to host or anything. But maybe people could just join. I didn't really look personally. Ooh, the tree landed on the rock and I got all of it. Hmm. Oh, look, we can do wide swings and hit two things. Okay. Okay. I wonder if we could drop a tree on like an enemy or something and have them die.
Okay. So let's go ahead and make some foundations. It says at least four foundations. One. Wait, that's a log roof. Here it is. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. We can adjust the height of it slightly. But I don't really want to do that. We'll put it a little off the ground because, you know, water runoff. Shelters and perks. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter provides. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. Cool. So we also have fatigue, so I'm assuming we're going to need to sleep at some point. We have everything down here. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, we need to put on some walls and a roof now. Gonna need quite a few walls. One there, one there, one there. Nice. And we need more trees, of course. Okay. Is this gonna wake up and bite my foot or something? No. I wonder if we could loot this longhouse. It wouldn't let me break it down. Here we go. Hoping there's enough trees on my island. And we're pretty much going to gather the whole island at this point. Hey, cat. Hi, Webby. Doink everything. Hit more trees. Axes increased to level 12. So we can turn our camera and see what we're doing. Grab that stick. Okay, nice. Dogs are going to bjork at the landscapers a bit today. Um, let's do a window. With a window to the walls. Here we go. We got a door. I built this. A little window. And then we need a roof of some kind. Log roof. We're going to need four of these, I believe. There's different workbench tiers. So tier two is locked. To upgrade, you need beeswax. Hmm. Look how cute. Here you go. And I built you a house. Wow, look at that home. Great work. There's something else that requires immediate attention, though. I realize the person lying over is still breathing. He inhaled the smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Later, some debris seemed... I mean, maybe that would have been the priority over building a house to check on the guy that's barely breathing on the ground in the middle of the rain, but to each their own. Later, some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked him and is certain he was not breathing. Oh, so he's dead. Uh, Tell her that you never provide a medical care. I've, I've never done that. Bandages should help stop bleeding. Maybe there's some left in the clutter of the old sawmill. So I gotta go in to the old sawmill. I can just pick up this wood over here. It seems like. How many can I pick up? Oh wow, I didn't even have to chop down all those trees. I just could have picked up lumber from right here. Okay. Uh, hello? Hmm. Hey there, how did you sleep? Tell him I slept fine. That's good, I guess. My night wasn't good as yours. The sound of the green lights kept me awake. There was something outside. Have you seen this place? It's ruined. It used to be cozy in here with everyone. 
This dude's just vibing in here. Everything's going to shit outside. I found the bandage. But I'm also going to go through all of this guy's stuff and take all of it. I'm sorry. It's mine now. Thank you. Seems like books sell for money or something like that. Is that a gun? Gimme, 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 gimme. I steal his food too? No. Heal wounded person. That's, that, this guy, there's no way this guy's still alive. He's just been laying in the mud overnight and all it took was a bandage. Oh no, he turned into one of those things. Be careful, they're extremely aggressive. Buh. Uh. Ow. Popped him. Okay. See you later, zombie. Ooh, a bone axe blueprint. Okay, so as you find the items, you unlock more blueprints. I think the people who inhaled the smoke of the meteorites are turning into these monstrosities. It's so horrible. You look pale. Are you okay? Tell her you're okay. A little hungry from all that work and fighting. We shall have some food around surrounding the hunter's rest. Always berry bushes of honey. Why don't you use the map and search for some berries as a snack? Hands over the map. See, this is what I was talking about. Edit world. So we can actually build more chunks to the island at some point. I like that, like, zoom out. That's cool. Place a plains world piece. Eat some berries. Okay, so now it wants us to edit the world. C to make a new world piece. Do we want to put that... Let's put it here so we don't have to, like, run behind our house. New world piece. The world above snakes consists of world pieces. Each piece has its own biome and continue it. Contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique, while others may appear multiple times. Boom. New world piece. <laughs> cool. Grab these berries. How many times can we grab the berries? A bunch of times. Berries eaten. We did it. The storm has stopped. Look how pretty. Joanne left a letter. I am deeply sorry I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I can do is leave the cabin to you. You built it after all. Wow, thanks for leaving the cabin to me. Really appreciate that. What the heck? I've known her for like five minutes. They said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creeper. They reported meteorites falling down there too. Horrible. Some people survived the most fled. Uh, talk to them. Bring the light into the dark. Okay, Joanne. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard, but there uh, that there is a camp nearby. Information on what happened. Need to see if there's any survivors. Take down the old sawmill. Hammer. Take down the small house. Hammer. Wait, so I'm just taking down everything? But I want it. I want this house. Look how how cute it is. Oh. I wouldn't have put my house here if that's... <sighs> Wants me to take down the old sawmill too? There's a guy living in here. Sorry, dude. I'm taking down your entire house. Oh, he went with it too. Rip. Congratulations on making your first shelter in Hunter's Rest. You can keep it and use it for survival. Take it down and build it up anywhere else. That's completely up to you. Alright. Decorative plant. So can I move this guy? I can. I'm going to put the workbench right here, I think. Let's do that. Craft that up. Put that right here. Alright. Sweet. We need feathers for the hay bed, and let's check to see what our current quests are. Find the survivor camps, build a cartography table. What do we need for cartography table? Ink. For ink, we need feathers and huckleberries. Okay. 
Let me make flint to see if this unlocks new stuff. It didn't. Build a campfire, though. Let's see what we can do with the campfire. Light it with one branch. Nice. R to cook. We can cook the berry. And then we have cooking levels as well. A cooked meal. And then we have our map. It seems like we can't edit anything else right now. Okay. So is the survivor's camp just on this island? That we already placed down? It doesn't seem like it is. So I need to build a cartography table, but I don't have any feathers. Our house is looking bleak as fuck. So do we, like, go farther out? No. Alright, well, let's just gather some more berries. I don't know where I'm supposed to find the feather. Maybe we luck out with it, I don't know. Just gonna collect a bunch of berries for now. We need uh, quite a few berries just to make the ink anyway. I hear birds, but I don't see any way to get feathers. Trees? Get feathers out of the trees? Let's see. It's kind of what I would imagine, right? A little bird's nest in the tree, it falls down. New world piece is ready. Ah, another moderate climate. Let's put it right here. Bong. And just like that, our island grows bigger. Search the trees. Ah, I see. Okay, so we have feathers now. We can make ink. There we go, ink, and then we can make the cartography table, which seems like an indoor thing, so we're going to put this in my house. Boom. Cartography table. So we need four rocks, and we can unlock a different type of island. Uh, so maybe I should have saved that last island we placed. Got a little ahead of myself. I like the music. Kind of reminds me of like Rise of Nations or uh, Age of Empires from back in the day. And Plains Pines biome has been researched. During your journey, you will come across different biomes. You can place these biomes wherever you want in the map, but you need to make sure you create transitions between them. Can do, can do. All right, let's search a few more trees. Just get excess materials. You know how it'd be. Until it gives us the option to place down a new world tile. Because I got ahead of myself. Is it just like by day we can create more islands on like a timer or something? No, 
And I'm assuming the survivor camp is going to be in the in the next square we place down. Make a new world piece. Oh, there's like a meter down there in the corner. I see. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Research and place a pine forest. That's what we just did, right? How is this any different? This early access? Uh, not anymore. I believe this is 1.0. So axes damage increased by 3.0. It actually tells you what all of the buffs do. Cool. Gear level. Nice. All right, well, let's see if we get anything different from these pine trees, if we search them. Branches. 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 Oh, it's a plain two Oh, so this is the pine forest. It expands from the plains. So we need to wait till we get one more world tile. Place another pine forest here and it will be a full pine forest. I get it now. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's what we'll do. But for right now, let's make my house a little bigger. Maybe make the bed. Because it said we get buffs based on, like, comfort levels and, like, and things like that. So. Let's get this place cozy. I saw I can make a plant. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a log step just to get in my front door. Make it a little smoother transition to get in. We got a little plant. Look how cute! I can save my game here now. Boop! Saved game. Cartography table. So our next upgrade is another... Oh, this is the planes to... Okay, I get it. I see, I see. I'm, I'm picking it up now. Now we need to research the pine forest and place it right there. Create a transition, like a fluid transition into the next biome. I get it now. Cool. Okay, so we go in here, cartography table, and we unlock pine forests. Beautiful. And we just gotta wait for this meter to go up. Let's make sure we're staying nice and fed and hydrated. I don't wanna cook the bone, because we can make stuff with the bone. New recipe. I do like a game with expansive cooking. A huckleberry bolt it has become dust. That means the night is close. If you're not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to a shelter or build one. It is also wise to have a light source and enough logs to fuel it before night falls. Okay. Oh, we just did it. That we literally just did that quest without them even asking. Nice. I think we, uh, I think we stay out at night. Let's see if we can murder some stuff. I want more bones because we can make, I think it's a weapon, right? Yeah, bone axe, but we need rope. A recipe book. Ooh. Contains recipes discovered while cooking. <laughs> Your meter goes up by performing action on tiles. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to make more ink real quick. One... Need more huckleberries, which will get our thing up. So it's a scouting process. So it wants us to physically explore the new squares that we place and do things on it, yeah? Yep, just by collecting berries on this new square, it's going up even quicker now. 
Nice. So once we're done gathering these berries over here, we'll have the option for another tile. We'll put it right there and boom, plains biome. New blueprint, axe and pickaxe. Using flint and beeswax. See, now I'm curious. There's the beeswax. What do we... Well... Oh! Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. I think we're good, though. Let's fight. Can we fight one or two? My axe skill is pretty strong right now, so... Alright, got that one. Let's loot him. Ooh, some fabric. Ooh, critical. Smoked him. Whoops. Only took three hits to kill this guy. A key? Hmm. They're pretty easy to dodge, but I'm assuming... Oh, that one spits. What the hell? Just telling me you need to go to bed, pretty much. A King Bolette. Ooh, mushrooms. And then we loot the zombie. Can we kill the spitter? I'm curious. Alright, I'm gonna dodge it, and then... Okay, he was a bit weaker than the other ones, but obviously. I need to get home and go to bed. Everything looks blurred. I can't see the things on my hotbar. Hmm, okay. And the quest, I don't know what day it is. My guy's going insane. That's cool. So it actually has impact on your character. I like how you can't see what's on your hot bar and your quests and everything is all question marked out because your guy is lacking sleep. That's fun. Okay, so there's some mechanics that I haven't seen in other games before. <sighs> Sleepy time. Find a lake, drink water. So I'm assuming we can get... Okay, see, now we have upgrades. A, pla a plains to pine. We have a plains to lake. And then we have unique, which is the survivor camp that we were talking about for our quest line. But obviously, we're going to want a lake first, because that sounds fun. And we have a question mark in our workbench for upgrades, maybe? Upgrade your workbench, yep. So let's light this up. Let's make a quick schmeal out of some berries. Ooh, let's add some mushrooms to it. Num, 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 num. All right, so we're obviously going to need the lake for water. I also saw that book. That's why we were making the ink in the first place, right? But we didn't have enough berries. Do we have enough berries now for an ink? We do. So this is going to give us food recipes, I believe. This book contains all recipes discovered while cooking. Read. Is that it? Did it do nothing for me? Read. Oh, okay. See, now this is keeping track of our recipes. Cupcakes, pizza, different types of potions, some matcha, some different teas, bread, skewers, fish. Cool. I like that. Let's go figure out how we're supposed to get the, the honey. And then we'll work on doing the lake square and stuff. Am I just going to get bit by the bees? 
Well, the bees don't seem to care that I'm messing with their tree. But I'm assuming I need to chop it down. Ah. Ah. Oh, gosh. Ow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get the... Damn. We might need a, uh, a bow, maybe? To, like, shoot it down out of the tree or something? Did a lot of damage to me. Can I run up to the deer, or is it faster than me? Oh, we'll catch him on the edge of the island, right? Oh, no, they're so much faster than me. Oh, got him. Excuse me. Some more mushrooms here. Let's kill the bunny, too, if we can. So we have a new world piece available, but I want to go research a new one before we do that. Everybody likes a good blood explosion. Chad, if you could like the live stream, it'd be much appreciated. For watching afterwards, leave the comment down below, potato. And of course, if you want to see more of this game, you have to let me know by showing support on the live stream. I appreciate it. Okay. So let's see. I think I needed rocks, yeah? Put the lake down. Cartography table. Research planes to lake. And then we place that down. Let's do it like this. I want the lake near my house. Nice. So now we can research the actual lake itself, right? We can. Five plant fibers. Alright, good to know. So can we just drink from this? Scoop water. Okay, so it's dirty water. And if we get a fishing rod, we can fish there. Okay, is this a plant we can grab? No, it's just flowers that are growing. Okay. Campfire for smoke, maybe it'll calm down the bees. Hmm. That feels a little crazy. It would be crazy if that's how it works. But I feel like we're just missing something right now to do it. Now we have enough for another world piece, but I need to research the lake first. Uh, we need one more plant fiber. Okay, let's drink some water because that's a quest line we have right now as well. I'm assuming we just boil it. drank. Um, I am going to just get the plant fiber and then probably go to sleep. We don't want to end up super fatigued again. We don't want to end up super crazy again, do we? There we go. Grab the lake and then press world piece and place the lake. Look at that. Massive lake. So we could surround this in lake to plains and just kind of like cap it off. Should be super dope. Okay, what else can we learn after this? So we need the survivor camp for the quest line and then there's a plains. Plains to pine. I don't know what the difference here is. Maybe it's like a 50-50 versus a 25%. Not really something I need to research, so we probably just need rocks for the unique square. The 
looking forward to having a weapon. Run around one shot in zombies. What's glowing right here? Oh, just a branch. Okay. Alright, let's turn on our light before we go to bed. Beautiful. And boop. <sighs> upgrade the axe to get the beehive quicker. True, we gotta upgrade the axe so we can smack the tree down faster. Uh, we have meat now. Let's do that. Decent meal, so we need some water as well. Ooh, what's, is this like iron or something? Too weak. Hmm. So we need an upgraded axe, the better one made out of flint, yeah? Seems like better off just cooking one at a time when it comes to water. Might even be that way with most of the stuff we uh, did. I think cooking one meat at a time would have been better than cooking all three, unless it's a specific recipe, right? Okay, so with these rocks, we want the camp placed down, so we need to get a few more rocks. I also need rocks to craft flint, so we're just going to hit rocks for a bit. Because with that flint, we can make the better axe and the better pickaxe. Also move us top right is probably a better idea. Oh, we got flint off of that rock. Cool. And we also uh, need to explore the area and do some stuff here just to get the next tile to place down, so. Lots of rock smacking. I wonder if someone added could go through and add up how many rocks and trees I've smacked down in my entire survival career. It's probably like 10 billion or something. So many survival games, so many rocks, so many trees. I do like that the game has expansive cooking. I've been saying it forever. Any game that has expansive cooking as a mechanic in survival is fine by me because I love cooking. So just getting that in a game is super fun. Then we go here real quick and actually we can just do it in our backpack, right? So how much we need beeswax for the pickaxes and stuff too. Hmm, maybe we need to just tank the the bee damage. Or do it at night. Because the bees are asleep. Let's try to hit the, the, the beehive at night. But right now, though, let's add the next world piece. I'm thinking just right there is a pretty okay spot. Let's go check on the survivors. Maybe we can get them to, like, work for us or something? Hello, survivors that aren't zombies yet. How you, how do you do? How do we doodly? Can I loot all of their things? I can. Yoink. Yoink. Another key. We keep finding keys, so I wonder if there's like a dungeon square we're going to be able to put down, or crates we'll be able to find. Hello. Hmm. Good day, stranger. How did you find us out here in this nirvana? Me and my brother Greg have been out here for days. We can't go home. Ask what happened. Well, we used to live in Corpse Creek before the Night of the Flames. During our escape, we lost most of our provisions. Uh, 
uh, ask about Corpse Creek. Tell me more about Corpse Creek. Corpse Creek is a big town. It was once heart of your of our country. Lots of people used to live there at night since these horrible things happened. Corpse Creek is almost abandoned. We used to live there, but everything changed. How did you lose your provisions? We lost most of the things nearby Prairie when our wagon was toppled and attacked by, well, let's say one of our own. Ask who attacked them. I'm assuming it's a zombie. Well, let's not talk about that for now. It was not an easy moment for us. We are lucky to be alive still. This fire and handful of provisions are what stands of us and the grave. Maybe it's too much to ask, but we're afraid to going back there. Do you think you can give our provisions back? Sure. Thank you so much. We're awaiting your return. Lost provisions. So I'm assuming that's, yep, a world piece that we need to research and place down as well. Maybe I can trade with these guys because we, like, have hmm. money. Good day. I'm Greg Brown. I ran trading posts at Corpse Creek together with my brother Sam. So, yeah. So once we, once we save their stuff... I'm assuming we'll be able to trade with them. Got some rocks out of that crate. So I think that was a key crate we just opened. More than likely. All right, let's go down to the pines real quick and look for some animals for some meat because my guy's getting hungry. There's some mushrooms. Doesn't look like the animals grew back, so we'll do something with the mushrooms. Hit the hive, not the tree. I'll try it. There's a hive right here. <coughs> Don't really have an option. <coughs> there we go. That's what I was saying. I was just going to tank it. That felt like the way to do it. We got honey and two beeswax. I think with the beeswax, I'm going to leave that guy alone. We're going to be able to do like one beehive a day because that took almost half my HP. I think with the first beeswax, we're going to do the tools. Oh, we only got one beeswax? Well, let's get the axe so we can chop down trees faster. Of course. So that way we can get beeswax easier. To make the next stuff. I grab a few more huckleberries for dinner. Assuming when we upgrade the workbench, we're gonna get the fishing rod and stuff, which will be cool. Let's go right here. Let's light this up and cook some food. So we lose water using honey. That looks good to me right there little mixture. Cooking increased to six. We're going to eat that real quick. We got sanity, food, and water off of that. Massive. Nighttime approaches. What do we need for that new tile? Let's check. Plains or prairie? I'm going to learn that real quick. That looks cool. Is that where we're supposed to go? For our next thing? Probably. We need to just do a few more things on this new tile over here. So we can get our next square. Here we go, more flint. I'm gonna gather some berries and boop, there it is. Plains to prairie. Um, let's put the prairie here. And let's go check it out. And then we can research the next chunk of prairie. Lost provisions is our unique one that I forgot to do. Boop. Oh, and it gets placed in the prairie. I see now. And we need flint for the full prairie, but we might as well just do the lost provisions for our next square. But let's go check out the prairie. Maybe something spawned on it that we don't have yet. Vanilla plant. Hemp. Time to get high as fuck. Some cotton. Cool. Or 
huckleberries. We'll run around over there collecting a few more things to get our next square, but let's go to bed and not risk dying to the zombies tonight. <sighs> Beautiful. So what do we need to unlock? We already unlocked it, right? We just need to get another square going. Make another thing of food. Beautiful. To the prairie! Let's smack more rocks, as we always do. And just do it on the new square. So we can unlock the next square. We're always going to need more flint, it seems like, for the next upcoming uh, islands. Nice, nice, nice. Wild mint? I didn't see that before. Nice. Alright, this should do it for the next square. Oop, almost there. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. And then we put this guy right here. Bong. Hello, Mr. Bunny. I need meat. Yoink. Also seems like there is a zombie. This is the one they were talking about. Their friend turned into a zombie and... Oh god, he attacked quick. Gotta try to juke him out. Dead. Critical. Beautiful. There's so much wild mint and cotton and everything over here. Vanilla plants. So much stuff. It's insane. This is their provisions. So we found them, so we just gotta tell Sam Brown that they're here. That's the horse. So these are what we open with the keys. We got a horseshoe. I don't know what that does. Maybe we get a horse in the future? I don't know. Scrap parts. New blueprint. Trap. Wild carrots. Well, let's just actually get our next square while we're here, right? Like, we might as well. We're going to have a lot of cooking recipes to research as well. I'm assuming we can make fabric out of the hemp. Hemp clothing and, like, hemp paper and hemp everything was so popular back in the day. It should still be today, but... Shitty Schedule 1 drug laws. Welcome to the United States of America. Okay, so we needed what? Three beeswax? Okay. We got the new trap, but we need tin ingot. You said look at the other tree in the workbench. Shelter and perks. Oh. Fortify your shelter. Maximum health increased 10. Whetstone sharpen your weapons. Melee damage increased by 3. I see. I do damage. So once our shelter is level 2, higher workbench levels required for level 2. So we have a large buff just by doing that as well. Hmm. I don't think we even need that. I will mm, do prairie maybe at some point though. But let's go tell Sam Brown real quick that we found his shit. Because I think he's going to open up a shop for us maybe. Hmm. Thank heavens. This should be enough to keep us for another couple months at least. We'll go home to Corpse Creek someday. We own the trading post out there, but you can't imagine what the state is right now. Hmm. Thank you for reason for the provisions. The real life saver it happened to us on the prairie. Tell him that he's welcome. God, I miss her. Sorry I'm drifting away. Ask who he's referring to. Maybe best not to dwell in sadness on events of the past anyway. We were able to bring our tents, but they got all ripped up, you see. Would you do us another favor? We need to patch some holes in the tent. Sure, why not? 
Uh, great, would you happen to have any spare fabric for us? If you don't, you, you have any fabric, maybe find some cotton and make some. Create a tannery with workbench too. But we already have fabric. Okay. So I could actually rest at these tents too, that's cool. Alright, so we need more honey. Because we need workbench too. Um, bit scared. Here we go. Oh, that only took two hits this time. Nice. So we can actually, yeah, we can get honey and beeswax very easily now. Let's go find some more trees, because we need three of it to upgrade the workbench. Let's see if we can't find an animal or two as well. It looks like you, you can kind of aim your weapon to hitting the, uh, the bee's nest. I see that now. Did we see another bee's nest anywhere, or do we only have two? We might have to wait for another one to form. Was there one in the prairie? I'm not sure if the prairie even had trees, did it? I don't think it does. Huh. Cool. Alright, so if there's no more bees' nests, we can't fish or anything. Let's do a little bit of cooking to learn some more recipes. We have mint. Um, can we make like a stew? This is just cooked meal. I want to, like, make recipes, man. Ooh, that gives us some health. We need that. Cool. We need some plant fibers for it as well, so let's work on that. We may as well. I'm liking this game so far. Pretty chill, but like, I mean, it's already progressing pretty rapidly. I like that. It doesn't feel too, too grindy. It feels like everything's well balanced and in that, like, I'm not sitting here just smacking shit every two seconds. We're about to have two new squares available. But I just, I don't want to spend, I don't want to use any of the squares until we have new, new ones. I don't need another prairie. Although another or another forest, like thick pine, might be worth it. Maybe we should do that. Another thick pine. And then maybe we just fill it in with this guy. So we have a huge pine area. And look, more bees. Oh, nighttime though. Actually, let's kill some let's kill some zombies. Let's go hunting for some zombies today. Oh, come on. Wow. My reaction time is not what it used to be, chat. I'm an old man now. A rotten tooth, lost soul necklace. There we go. So is that like an armor? Hmm. Oh, in the tannery we can make a rope. The enhanced robe. I don't see where we make this tooth necklace. Oh, right here. We need rope and five rotten teeth. So what does that give us, though? A higher crit chance. Hmm. Hmm. I need to just press spacebar. I keep trying to dodge with, like, movement. 
Okay, maybe we can't stay out here any longer. Don't spit on me, don't spit on me, don't spit on me. Goodbye. I'm running home. I'm sleepy and my sanity is about to tank. Yep, there it is. The gingivitis necklace. That's what we need. 2% doesn't seem like much, but you'd be surprised. Let's sleep real quick. <sighs> sleep. Save. Drink water. Stay hydrated, chat. And let's go get one more beehive so we can upgrade our workbench. Get the tannery. So then we can make rope and fabric so we can repair that guy's tents because that's our current quest line. I do like having a quest line instead of a make your own fun type thing. I hope the quest line goes pretty expansive. I imagine it does because at some point we got to get the Corpse Creek, right? And that's the whole story. Might as well finish the tree while we're here. Nice. A deer for some food would be so wonderful. Got him. We do have this massive plains biome now, though. Or, sorry, not plains. Pines. Lots of bunnies. The prairie had a few animals as well. doing this for food. All right. So we have enough beeswax. Like, look how much our world has already expanded in the time that we've played. They are not scared of progression, and I am here for it. I didn't play Force of Nature 2, but I saw that it was, uh, there's a sale with this game. You can bundle them together. Artivo does a great job. I like their, uh... It just says new recipe straight up with just one piece of meat. So let's do that. Uh, they do... What's the... They have that world game where you have the little dudes and it just... It's like, a, it's like an AFK sim type or like a world builder type thing, but you can like AFK and they'll just do everything for you eventually. I forget what it's called. But I played a bit of that and it was pretty fun. Universe sim, yep. Upgrade workbench. Boop. Massive. So now we have a new shelter perk. So we need to make our shelter cooler to get another perk. Good to know. So workbench tier two. We get tables, chairs, arches, dressers. So we need scrap parts for a lot of this stuff. A fletching table. We're making bows and arrows. A rocking chair. We can build a little porch. That'd be cute as heck. And we have storage chest to put stuff away. We haven't died yet. I wonder what happens when we die. Maybe our shit pops out of us and goes everywhere. So obviously we want the tannery, so let's get a little bit more plant fiber action in our lives. Stamina increase. Nice. All right. So with that, we can build the tannery, which I am. I am. I think I'm just gonna start putting stuff inside. We're just gonna start making a really large house because it just works better this way. that right there. Make some rope. Boop. Ooh, fishing rod, enhanced pickaxe, enhanced axe. And more fabric. Now we gotta go to Greg Brown to repair his stuff. 
So with the fishing rod, we can get more fish, make fish skewers, new recipes. Maybe even... I don't know. What else would we get off of that? Check my phone real quick. I got a voicemail. No problem. Find a nice seat without rain or wind on my face. Thank you, young savior here. You've earned a little something. Only Brown's Miracle Tonic patent pending. It fixes all health problems you might have. Just don't drink too much of it. Okay. Oh, no worries. Thanks for the help. Well, you did so much for me, but maybe your brother Sam will tell you what we got in this map. Our mother, Tara, was during the was with us during the escape, but she suddenly started acting all odd and such, and then jumped at us, crashing the wagon. So that's who I just killed. Their mom? Rip. Uh, will you keep a lookout for her? Her name is Miss Tara Brown. I don't know. Maybe she's still running around. Ooh, I see what's about to happen. A little bit of a zombie boss fight, perhaps? Perhaps? So we have the new upgraded stuff. The beeswax and the original pickaxe. And one more rope. Uh, let's just make the fishing rod. I'm curious how fishing works. I love fishing in video games as well. My favorite fishing ever, by far, though, um, has been Among Trees. That game's fishing and just environment and it was just so pretty. Really liked it. We're just holding R. And we're just oh we got scrap parts off of that so that's to build our house up more to get more upgrades for our character we got a catfish i see this like glowing gold one over here can we fish at that we can heck yeah maybe we can get a boat later a bass salmon Wow, we're getting a whole lot of different fish. Another catfish. Okay, so it just seemed like it was like a higher chance for better fish or something. All right, grabbing some water. All right, let's go home. Let's cook up some fish. Let's eat. Drink. Get all of our stuff rocking and rolling. What? We can't do anything with the fish? Oh, we have to gut it. Fish oil and fish meat. So this gives us health back. So these would be good to have. Triple fish. Grilled fish skewer. So maybe some fish oil, some mushrooms, and mint. I don't know. We're just experimenting at this point, right? New recipe? Syrup. So can we use cooked items to cook again? No. Just kind of experimenting, looking for more recipes. Why does it let us cook with bones if it's... Yeah, I'm thinking you can make, like, bone meal. Fertilizer. Hmm. Okay. save and sleep actually no so we need to we got to go hunting we got to go look for this this guy's mum in the prairie i believe right because he said would you keep an eye out for her and i bet she's a zombie in the prairie 
over by the cart that's flipped over. I wouldn't doubt it. That's just what I'm assuming. We also need to make sure we're grabbing cotton while we're out here. Because this is to make fabric. And fabric is going to be holding us back quite a bit. But I do not see his mom out here. So. I guess I was mistaken. world peace is ready but we don't have anything new to place down so i'm not gonna yet maybe we do a prairie because this is a this is a quest prairie right lumberjack cabin is our next so oh so this is where we're gonna fight the mom i see all right so we should unlock the prairie to put down one more prairie and then we need to figure out what we need to do the quest with Oh, we can already do it. Beautiful. Lumberjack cabin. And then I want to learn straight up prairie, which means we need flint. Hopefully there's some flint in this rock. I got to upgrade my pickaxe, but I want to just upgrade the axe again because to upgrade everything we need, we need beeswax. We can make flint in our inventory as well, though. So we'll just do that. Learn the prairie. Beautiful. Grab that. We're going to slap down a prairie real quick. Uh, we don't want to put it next to stuff because then we're going to... We're going to be forced to work around it. Right? So this needs to be in a... forest biome. It's going to be quite the forest biome over there, man. Very expansive. Well, let's go see what's going on at the lumberjack's house. I saw the grave in the backyard, so is that the mom's grave, maybe? And we're going to have to report back to him that Mumsy has no longer uh, is no longer with us, perhaps? Oh, I just tried to kill it. But... <gasps> rub his belly. Belly rubs. He seems to like it. Look at his collar. Let's see. Your name plate says Bass. Apparently your name Bass. Why is his tail? Woof, woof. No, don't say goodbye. Take him home with you. Rub his belly again. I want him. Oh. Stark. Hmm. Hello there. Very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark, and this is my simple home. The woods were such a nice, safe place before the Lost Souls began roaming around here. Such a shame, luckily me. I don't live in Corpse Creek. Ask about his dog, of course. Is that your dog outside? I see you met Bass already. I don't know what I would do without him. God damn it. He has an owner. Loyal companion and best friend. He is harmless. He does everything for some belly rubs. Ask why he seems worried about the people. Ask why he lives alone here. Lonely? Not at all. I don't live alone by any means. Bass is my best friend and a good boy. Ask why he seems worried about people. Oh, do I? Well, um, apparently these woods are such a nice, safe place when I'm lost for game room. It's such a shame. I've heard dreadful things about that night. Say, could you do me a favor? I'll explain a little later. It would make me feel a lot better. Sure. Of course. What can I do? Glad to hear. Well, I'm planning on making something, but I require a skull of a big animal. It has to be of some size. Understood? So, like, a wolf? A new world piece that will have a bear or something. Here lies Blue. He was a good boy. Oh no. There was two dogs and now there's only one. Poor babies. I want a dog now. So I'm going to need to make a bow. Ooh, rope. Nice. Feathers. Anything else in here I can steal? No. Hi, Bass. Belly rubs before we go, of course. There you go. It's fine, chat. We'll visit Bass whenever we get the chance. Because he is a good boy. 
So with that, I believe I can just upgrade my axe right now. No, we need more rope. Okay. Let me craft the flint real quick and just get the better pickaxe. Beautiful. Wait, did that go through? It did, but it didn't replace my old axe. Oh, I'm still using my primitive axe. I didn't even notice. They just look so similar. Okay. Starting the game right now on this. Have fun, man. Can you farm the dead horse? Good shout. Let me check. No. So I, I'm assuming we just need to do the new biome. And the new biome will have some type of animal that we can take on that will have a large head for him. Well, let's work on our house a little bit. We've been neglecting ourselves and just helping people, you know? So we need to we need to work on ourselves for a bit. You feel me? Let's do... Let's chop some trees. Right, let me see. Actually, how can I make this next axe? With just one rope. Let's make one rope real quick. Because with that one rope, we upgrade our axe. There we go. So that replaces our axe, so we don't have to have the inventory clutter. So now we have the better axe, and now we'll get wood, so we can upgrade our house. It'll be a lot quicker to chop the trees down with the better axe. Try to get, we can get some, some honey while we're out chopping trees as well. Only takes three hits to break them now. So let's actually, yeah, let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's run around till we find a tree that has bees on it. We'll get the wood and the bees. And this looks like a good tree to hit. We're just going to try to get some wombo combos going, right? Try to be optimized with our smacks. But it does waste energy. Ooh! And that tree landed on that tree, and that tree landed on that bush. We got the true wombos happening. Hi, Bass. I have to give him belly rubs every single time we come here. I'm sorry. It's just required. It's like a law of the land. If I don't give belly rubs, am I even a good person? No. More beeswax. More wood. Nice. All right, let's scoot towards home. I think it's getting a little, it's getting a little dusky, a little dusky out. Stamina increase, nice. Uh, let's break this rock because it's in the way of expansion. This rock right here is in the in the in the way of progress. Let's build another four foundations. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six walls. So we'll do five walls, one window. Four, five, one window. And then four more roofs. We're doubling our house size so we can put tables down and then move the campfire inside.
Okay, so hammer, remove log wall, remove log wall, escape, and then we go here, building. Beautiful. Nice. Look at that. Our house has doubled in size. Let's quickly, before we get tired, what can we do furniture wise? We do a rocking chair, a large dresser. Oh, I'm not going to do a rug yet because that uses a lot of expensive materials that we don't want to waste. sleep and then we'll place this stuff in the morning <sighs> so this like actually has benefits which i'm here for because by placing this stuff down now this is going to be our bedroom right over here right that's where we'll put our tv because we won't have a tv though because you know this is the wild west there we go. So this is actually giving us benefits to our home. So if we go right here, workbench, shelter perks, that bar moved from like here all the way up to here. So we need like one more thing to place in our house and then we'll get another buff of some kind. So what can it be? A chest, but we need more scrap parts. I could go fishing for scrap parts. Maybe we can add an arch in the building. Would that make it fancier? Would they would would the game like that? If we were to add an arch. I don't know. Did that boost it at all? Let's see. It did. So let's do two arches. Boom. Is that enough? Did we get the upgrade? Level two. So we go here and now improve fire making. Fires burn 30% longer. Don't care. Cooked meals provide 20% more replenishment. Could be worth it. Wood used for bonfires is a dry and burn farther. I'm going to do the better cooking for sure. So now we, our food is 20% better. All right, we need to go catch some fish and we need to boil some water. Is this always a gold spot? No, it's not. Okay. One water. Two water. Three water. A quick fish. Quick fish or two. A catfish. Nice. bass. Three fish would be perfect here. Nice. Okay. So consumables now. We got this. We got that. We got that. Now we cook some fish and we boil some water. Or we make some fish stew. But I think going for the recipes is probably more efficient. So... So we're going to do that. Oh, we already have some water on us we can drink. Now we'll have some extra. Here we go. Fish skewers. That'll pop us off. And boom. Level 2 shelter. Let's see what we need for the new square. Now that we did a little bit of me, me time, you know. We got some new stuff down. Just rocks to learn, Glade, huh? What kind of biome is this? Is it another forest biome? Oh, dear lord. Our forest is so big. I'm just going to put it right next to the, the cabin. That's the bone that he wants for us. So let's go over there. I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight something. That's just my instinct. What are the stats on this? Health 50. Okay. So we'll use that if we're in a sticky spot. Maybe we put that on like our six key. 
so we don't have to go reaching for it. Look at the, like, sunbeam coming down. That's cool. Ooh, beehive. We always gotta grab those when we see them, because we want more to generate in the world. And we always need... Always need beeswax. There's another one right here. Read grave. Here in the forest, dark and deep, I offer you eternal sleep. Creepy. Oh, I saw this coming. What? I can't move. What the hell? It is called Above Snakes. I just killed a bunch of snakes. We poisoned? We are. I pressed six. It did nothing. I thought that was supposed to remove all ailments, but I guess it doesn't get rid of poison. But we should be fine. My HP's good. Any other bones we can grab here? No. There is a bunch of beehives, though. Tanking bees, tanking poison. Beehives everywhere over here, hell yeah. Ooh, just knock that into next week, Jesus. We got a wombo combo on the tree as well. Alright, poison expired. Grab all that. Grab all the wood. Alright, quest complete. Let's go talk to him. Similar to Don't Starve or something? Uh, kinda. It's got some Don't Starve qualities to it. Hmm. Found one. Great job. Excuse me for a second. I'll make something special out of this. Please have this axe as a small thank you. Dark seems to turn around and craft something. This will take some time. Ooh. 13 melee damage. Verse 15. Gear level 1. But it's a 10% crit. So this is more of a fighting axe. I see. This is my hunting gear you are looking at. You already may have guessed it, but I am a passionate hunter. You seem to be interested in hunter. Uh, tell him you love to learn how to hunt. Well, there, there, here, here... Well, this here gear is mine. And I need it myself, so you'll have to get your own bow, but I'd love to help. Hunter's Code. Somebody with a crafting skill should certainly be able to make a bow. I have some tendon drawing on my porch that you could use as, use as bow string. Oh, cool. Thanks. So now we can get a bow. We gotta rub the belly, as we do, and go home. It's the belly tax. Everybody knows the belly tax. Just like the cheese tax. The belly tax has the exact same, exact same indications. Home sweet home. So this is the next. There was something else. An animal watering hole. That's our next square that we can place. And of course, it's another forest biome thing. So there we go. So that's where I'm assuming we would go to hunt, correct? But we need the bench that makes bows, which is in here. The fletchling table. So we need to craft a wooden table out of branches and flint. Let's get some branches real quick. These guys should give us some branch. Actually, we want to hold F, right? Get branches easier. Then we chop the tree. And I'm assuming we're going to need a lot of feathers to make arrows or something like that. Nice. Beautiful. And then we need two flint. 
One, two. We make a table. And we make the fletching table. And we have all of those new unlocks. I'm going to put the fletching table in my house because we want to start actually living in here. Will it not fit right here? Doesn't want me to put it inside. Oh no, it just doesn't fit. Hmm. Let's get rid of the rocking chair, shall we? I want to put it right here. Perfect. Fletching table. And our first bow. Just like that. 15 arrows. We need flint. Make two of that. One, two. Fletching table. Make 30 arrows. Nice. And then, of course, in my bag, we will have the bow. Which we're going to put on... Oh, it's a right click, so it's just there now? And then we can right click to pull it out? Whoa, whoa, okay, didn't know it was just going to start shooting. All willy-nilly, but it is. Do we have enough fish to make more fish? Because it does wake me up so I don't have to go to bed. We did just work through the night. We need some stuff that'll wake us up. Let's see. Mm, that's sanity. There we go. Mint wakes us up. We do some mint and fish. Mint and meat. And then we won't have to sleep. We can go turn our quest in. There we go. Nice. Let's go check the fishing hole. Or the uh, the watering hole. Let's try our bow out for size. Seems pretty cool. The cabin is super cozy. It'll just get cozier with time, and it's not like you're doing it for no reason. That's like one thing that I really despised about Sons of the Forest. There's absolutely no point in building except for the sake of building. This game, you physically get upgrades on your character by building a cooler and more comfortable house, which is super cool. I like that. Okay, these are going, like, nowhere. Oh, they won't go over the water. I see. My aim is not incredible. Here we go. Looks like I need to just get a little closer. I probably need to go up in my bow skill, I'm assuming, in order to shoot things easier. Let's see if I can hit this bunny. Here we go. Been staring at this game all day, can't tell if you want it. Well, that's what's great about Steam refunding. Just play less than two hours and then come up with your decision. If you don't like it before two hours, just return it. But I mean, so far, so good. I guess the thing is um, longevity, right? Like, what's endgame like? Like, what are we going to be doing? Is there... I'm really hoping there's dungeons or hordes or base attacks. Maybe base defense would be epic. Something of that nature. Because there is a way you can upgrade your walls. Like, one of the buffs that I could have chosen for my base was stronger walls. So I'm assuming hmm. the base can get attacked at some point, right? Took some time, but I created something very special out of the animal skull. But see here, it's private, and I don't want anybody to know what it is. If uh, I don't know, maybe later I'll show you. If I know, I can trust you. You know, maybe you could earn that trust. I'll put what I've made in into this parcel. It needs to be delivered to Corpse Creek. Offer to deliver the parcel. Oh, would you do that? That'd be fantastic, but please don't look too closely at the label. Are we on the same page? We are. Craft leather armor. 
So it wants us to craft armor and deliver to the trading post, and the trading post is a new world pace. It looks like it's in the prairie. And that will send us to Corpse Creek, which is where I'm assuming the majority of the zombie population is going to be, because that's where it started. But this is where we're going to wrap up uh, Above Snakes today. So, if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like. Comment down below, let me know if you want to see more. Maybe we'll do another session tomorrow, perhaps? I really wouldn't mind doing another session tomorrow, just to see um, how much more gameplay there is in this. There's still a lot more to be done, and we haven't even been to Corpse Creek yet. So, uh, definitely enjoyable one. Hit the like button before you head on out, and I will see you guys possibly tomorrow, depending on, uh, like I said, your support on this game. Which I just have to wait for my wave to show up on YouTube. And then, uh, I was gonna go play Hunt Showdown, but I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know what to play, though. Games are just so sale right now, chat. <laughs>